Army hearties, welcome aboard, fellow buccaneers. That's a pilot by a Cornwall. Hi you guys, this is Blizzard Raptor. Welcome to my channel once again for some Assassin's Creed Black Flag. If you are new here uh, or you haven't already, because I can't forget there are people that regularly watch my videos, but not all of you are subscribed, please subscribe to the channel, like the videos that you watch, and if you could, leave a comment. Let me know how you're getting on. This is my second attempt at recording the following missions that I'm going to do because Sir. the PlayStation crashed on me twice and because it crashed and, I, and it, it meant I didn't exit the footage the bastard son of the late William Kidd. it Still a mere boy didn't yet. save it ten times the demon his father was fancy seeing you here can we still looking sleek and mean did you steal that costume from a dandy in Havana no sir I found this on a corpse one that was walking about and talking Very shite to my face only moments before. Huh. So, what's this I hear about a planned raid on a plantation? Not keeping secrets from me, are you? Not very well. Every day, schooners packed with sugar sail past, coming from plantations nearby. Most times, they stop here, sell off a few crates. There's one man visiting today that had earned you a fine profit. So if you'd like to rob his plantation, I'll point him out. I would. Is it a Mr. Beckford that owns this plantation? That's the man. He owns dozens round these islands. And he's bloody rich. Just the sort I like to see robbed. So yeah, as I said, I've struggled to get this recorded today. So I've played through these missions already, so I'll probably end up playing them a bit more efficiently than I had earlier. Hopefully, we'll be able to push on and get some new stuff for both our sakes. But it was good fun. So we're following this guy. Plantation missions are a great way to get raw materials to upgrade your ship. And what we're wanting to do here is just follow this dandy gentleman. He will lead us to said plantation and the game gives us a tutorial on how to do them. Oh! There are a couple of difficult bits that might take me longer than they usually would to sort of get through because I struggled with stealth earlier and there's a couple of bits in certain missions where I got caught so we then get a minute to get to the jackdaw's wheel easy done i heard a scottish privateer there the hooky is a scottish word for or a scottish slang word for backside for your arse so we're maintaining our distance from our target Got to tail the agent ship. I did want to craft there, but to get the pistol ammo upgrade. Captain, you have the look of a man crafting a bold idea. The look I've seen before. 
You mark well, Addy. We've got I just our heard one of the Beckford's men talking grandly about his plantation and all the British man of war there as well. It gave me the idea that I might take these goods off him and sell them off for a better price than he'd ever ask. <laughs> ah, a man of vision. I like this idea. And the trick to this mission and some of the following ones is staying out of the sight lines. We'll get a tutorial probably on screen. I think it's built into the mission, even although I've done it already. Yeah, we do. So in a restricted area like this, where the sea is, or the area is marked with red, you get to see the cone of vision or the field of view for surrounding ships because we are not meant to be here. Yeah. And we don't want to get seen by them. So it's a case of judging your speed. We don't also though, we don't want to get too close to the ship we're tailing. because that will spook them. However, I'm sailing parallel to a cone of view at the minute, and although I'm trying not to get too close, I'm also trying not to get seen. Now, it is a bit daft, I get that, because if you were to look at it, oh no, from... Yeah, it's away. Reef the top Here we go. The Reef the four men. So yeah, the um, it's just a case of sort of it's like, it's like tailing in any other Grand Theft Auto game or something like that. You're just judging your speed and making sure that you don't get too close to your target, making sure that no one else can see you. working for Peter Beckford's people. Do you know them? The Beckfords and their sugar empire? Aye. Beckfords and the Draxes. I never worked their plantations, but I knew their names from hearing other men curse them. But you worked the plantation, no? A modest one, aye. As a striker in the boiling house. Boiling house? Was it water they boiled? Or something else? Cane juices. The hard process making sugar. Dangerous. Must be why it fetches such a dear What's it like? Toiling on a plantation day and night. Well, with the cane sugar cut and harvested, it's run between two metal rollers to crush the juice from the plant. After collecting the juice, it was time to boil away the waters from the sugar. This we did in tanks made of copper. But let me tell you, brother, boiling sugar is near the hottest thing on earth. Just a touch on the skin will stick like wood lime and burn on, leaving a terrible scar. Jesus. Jesus indeed. So I've just about lost them. Now that the, all the sails are up, the wind's affecting us worse. It's a risk to anchor too close. The soldiers roving the plantation would catch us for sure. Drop here then and sneak ashore. We'll look after the jackdaw. And like I say, I've already done this bit. It's actually stopped me fairly close to this. It never did that before. So, brilliant. Ignore that icon, we'll get to that. Uh, a mission that I need to do, that I need to replay, will reveal what that is. I'm doing everything in the exact order that I did it before. So, the first thing I need to do is I need to get, without crossing into the red area, I need to get close to this loony. Here we go. The dandy captain. What's happened here? Why such disarray? Bit of a do, sir, that's all. It's Wilmington's birthday. Irishman. 
And you saw fit to get pickled on duty. No bother, sir. We have everything sorted. Northern Irish, I think. Won't we? For you must double the watch this evening. Double, sir? Whatever for? I believe I was followed here yesterday. By pirates, if my eyes on me. Though the ship was uncommonly large for such rascals. Certainly wasn't slavers, though. Not a ship that size. In any case, double the watch. And keep your damned eyes wide for anything suspicious. Whoops, I never did that before. You up there! Look alive, man! You've a job to do! Apologies, sir. I'll keep my eyes peeled. For God's sake, what the hell is going on here today? How do you suppose you'll be able to ring that alarm if you're piss drunk and barely able to stand? <laughs> Let's cut the dialogue for that guy, but I think it's because I, I interrupted the the conversation the last time by get, almost getting spotted. What he says is that he will ring the alarm and they'll all know. Warehouse, huh? So now we need the key to the warehouse. The key to the warehouse is on one specific character. We'll mark him. Let me go with mark those guys. There's the key holder. See him in the distance there? And they're both marked. Excellent. So we'll go with hidden blades for this one. Cool, calm, and quiet as you like. Think he comes this way. Yeah, he does. Perfect. I didn't get that timed as well the last time. Down you go. So we'll loot the key. Now, the next step is to open the warehouse. The door is there. We've got a guy there. I'd ideally like to whistle on him, but I don't think he's coming close enough. Oh well. He's going to meet up with that guy. Can obviously, I could use the trees actually to get closer. You know what? Nah, he doesn't hear me. I'll wait till he turns his back and then I'll run up and do a run and assassination then. Because all you need to do... I think he'd done already, didn't I? I never looted the key off him. He must have looted a different body. That's a disaster. Here we go. I left that guy's body lying right in the middle of the road. Luckily no one's been here. So apart from a wee mistake there. So you can see we gained a lot of loot from that. Bonus reward, no bells rang. The optional memory, the optional objective for this was to disable two bells. I did that the last time.
It never gave. I never done it this time though, so it's not given me. It. So now it would have continued on to a different cutscene, but it's taken me back to the replay mission. So that, if we're going to see this screen a couple of times because I now need to go and do the one after, which is proper defences, and then single madman. So a, a, a teensy bit frustrating for me. I'll need to play sequence one of, uh, sorry, uh, memory one of sequence four as well to bring you guys up to date. But believe you me, we will get through this in no time at all. Here's to our pirate republic, lads. We're prosperous and free. Black and beard. out the reach of kings, clergy and debt collectors. Near 500 men now pledge their allegiance to the brethren of the coast in Nassau. Not a bad number. True. Yet we lack sturdy defences. If the king were to attack the town, he'd trample us. Then let us find the observatory. If it does what these Templars claim, we'll be unbeatable. Not that twaddle again, can we? It's a story for schoolboys. I mean... Proper defences. Steal a galleon, shift all the guns to one side. Would make a nice ornament for one of our harbours. It will not be easy to steal a full Spanish galleon. Have you one in mind? I do, sir. And I'll show you. She's a fussock, she is. Fat and slow. Now, something I pointed out the last time, and I am going to point out again. William Kidd. Your jackdaw handles nice. Pinched her from the Spanish, was it? Aye. In the midst of a hurricane. Just before the treasure fleet was smashed against the shore. Was the hull yeah. aboard as rich as men are saying? A thousand times that. Come on, guys. I reckon a million pounds worth of reals was sunk that day. Devil love a hurricane. Might we'll have a dive there one day. See what we can rummage up. Diving them wrecks would be a nice change of pace for us. No need for violent actions against merchants and such. Well, that's some soft talk coming from a pirate. As it happens, I mostly agree. We'll save the clashing of cutlasses for the military. And them that get in our way. So, now that they're finished talking, the, ki the pirate William Kidd never had any children. He was never married, and as far as I know, he didn't really have a long-term partner or a cop, what the, like a common-law wife. He died leaving behind the mystery of where he'd hidden his treasure. I think it's still a legend to this day. Most of his haul he hid before he was captured and executed for being a pirate. So James Kidd's claim to be the bastard or illegitimate son of William Kidd is not true. And that's not spoiling anything in the story. However, because this is the 18th century, there's no internet, it takes a long time to get a message anywhere, then it's he can get away with telling that story because who's gonna who's gonna uh, dispute his story? Careful, Captain. Not really this anybody. The other thing that I wanted to mention is that I mentioned in the, when I was trying to um, record this the first time is that Kenways, not Kenways. Blackbeard's little speech there about leaving the the clashing of swords to other people. If you do any research on Blackbeard, you'll find out that although he could fight, his reputation was largely built on fear. 
as opposed to his ability as a, a fighter. He wore a lot of pistols, he made a lot of noise, he put slow burning fuses in his beard and in some of his hair and some of the ringlets in his hair lit them and it created like a smoke about him, made him look like a, a demon if you want to call him that and he was feared because of what because of the reputation he had created for himself rather than are they sailing towards me? I think they are, aren't they? So yeah, so Blackbeard's Blackbeard's reputation was fearsome, but I don't think the man was actually as formidable as his reputation suggested. Um, he certainly, when he died in his last battle, he was overpowered. To be, to be fair, he was outnumbered though. The British had lured him on board a, a ship and they made it look like it was undermanned or you know, that he had successfully taken out most of the crew and in actual fact what they'd done is hid most of the soldiers and crew below decks so when Blackbeard and his crew sunk the boarding hooks in and pulled the ship alongside and boarded her they were ambushed by the, the troops that were hiding underneath and Blackbeard, I think he was shot through four or five times and stabbed a good few times as well um, so it did take a lot to kill him, but I think that was more just to make sure that Blackbeard went down and stayed dead, as opposed to any sort of fearsome I think we're clear, sir. sort of fighting skill that he had. Everybody loves a good legend though, and sometimes a legend is all you need to to sort of, you know, to to survive in the, the, these times, you know, his word of his atrocities, because let's face it, he's murdering people, uh, setting fire to ships. Word of his atrocities spread before him. He would leave just enough survivors, one or two, to carry the tale of what he had done. And he usually took, he tried, he usually took ships intact. To be fair because he was trying to build his own fleet. So his, his goal was to take a ship as a prize rather than sink them. Pretty sure that's how he got the Queen Anne's Revenge, because it wasn't his ship. But I'm not 100% sure about that. It might be that the, the Queen Anne's Revenge was given to him, because Blackbeard wasn't the original pirate that was in charge of the the sort of pirate haven he was he eventually became the main man but there were guys there before him like uh, 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 Charles Avery but eventually him and his best mate Benjamin Hornigold would get given the Queen Anne's Revenge or they would obtain the Queen Anne's Revenge however they got it and it was the ship that was synonymous with Blackbeard. Even although towards the end of his career, he didn't have the Queen Anne. Also, nobody knows why Queen Anne wanted revenge. Blackbeard didn't sail under Queen Anne's mark. He wasn't a privateer for her monarchy. And... Charles Vane. There we go. It's Charles Vane I was talking about. An old friend of yours. Not a man I call a friend. But we've been doing this kind of work for so long, I can't help but respect the man. So the Rangers, Charles Vane's ship.
Vane doesn't want to lose the Ranger, obviously. Oh no. So that's mortars on the sea. Once they turn red, that's when the damage is coming. So as long as you can avoid the, the sort of yellow, those yellow markers, you just stay out of them altogether and that's you avoided the mortar strikes. We're doing our best to stay out of the way of them and maintain our course as well. I'm having to swing a bit wider than I wanted to. The survivors from the two gunboats that came with Charles Vane are up here. Charles Vane, slinking off with his tail between his legs. That's good news for us. Right. Full sail! Bleeding bastards! We'll have to deal with this skirmish fast. Forget the Galleon! They were getting ready to fire there, but they clearly haven't. Good man. So if you don't aim, you use different... If I aim like that, I think that's heavy shot that I'm using. And then if I just look... Or maybe it's the other way about. There we go. There's a lot of stuff in the water now, obviously. we got and that's that she's sailing for that island I know the place natural stronghold used by a French captain named Ducasse Julian Ducasse the Templar name's right didn't know he had a title I know the man and if he sees my ship he'll know it from his time in Havana meaning he may wonder at who's sailing her now I can't risk that and I don't want to lose that galleon. Let's think on. <laughs> Maybe wait till it's dark before hopping aboard. And now it will take me back to the beginning of this mission as well because I'll have to replay it from here. <laughs> I'm, st I'm still glad I'm getting to sh show you guys this though, because I would have been... I would have been gutted if I hadn't got to show you this, because this is one of the, the best bits of the game this early. Um, it's all about setting up this Pirate Republic. Gentlemen, as is custom among our kind, we do not plunge headlong into folly on the orders of a single madman, but act according to our own collective madness. <laughs> the object of our attention is a square-rigged galleon, and we want her for the advantage she'll bring Nassau. So I'll put it to the vote. All those in favor of storming this cove and taking this ship, stomp and shout aye! aye! Those who oppose, <laughs> Never was the King's Council so unified. So the plan now is to get aboard, uh, sorry, get through the jungle here. We're going to craft that pistol ammo pouch. No, we're not. Can I craft it in here? 
I can't remember if I'm allowed to do upgrades and stuff through this or if it just shows me them. Crafting, here we go. Crafting is unavailable at this time, right, so I'm not allowed to. Okay. It's a bit of a shame that, but eh, fair enough. So, aboard we go. The idea is not to get into combat here, not to give the alarm to Julian Dicas. There is a treasure chest up here somewhere. Is it above me still? Yes, yeah, right, okay. Let's fight. I think the... It's the Animus Fragment right up here. I think it is, you know. I think it's right up here. Yeah, it is. Perfect. It was annoying me earlier, so I'd done... I'd decided I was going to try and do some side stuff. And... I went ahead to try and clear out this island and then realised I couldn't get to half the stuff. So I'm trying to make sure that I find it this time. Don't know how I missed this chest the first time though, because it's above me higher, which is fine. Excuse me for a second. Yeah, I didn't climb up there, I went straight across. So I was too focused on making progress because you've got to go from here all the way down here there we go swing jump hop so yeah I have done a few bits and pieces in terms of side content and upgrades the ship's had a bit of upgrade done to it. Edward hasn't really had anything done. That's why I wanted to get that pistol upgrade done, but... You know, you can't have everything. So there are two treasure chests on this route that I want to try and find as well. They're there. So I'll mark it just so if I get close to it, There's a guy just there. I think if I go in here, I've got more chance of getting him. We'll stick to the hidden blades. He didn't come close enough. You heard the blades sliding there because I thought he was close enough for me to kill. He was that time though. So he's dead. Here we go. There we go. There's a shiny along this way apparently. Don't remember that. And it's close though. So I am gonna go get it, Hannah. I think I just went exactly the same way that I did. He's there, I see him. He's dead. You know what, I'm gonna head for the jungle's exit so that I don't get myself into any more trouble. Because I seem to be doing that quite well. Ah, you saw nothing, mate.
He had that. Hmm. Just hoping I could climb that. Or do I have to do it back to front A? I think I do. Yeah, I do. That's it. Backtrack on myself and I get it. Perfect. That's all the Animus fragments on the island found now. That sheet music is annoying me. Did I go and get it? Yeah, I want it. I don't want to come back to this side of the island again. So... Back we go. Don't know how I've missed it twice. I genuinely don't. It's not like there's a lot here. This is up where I found a chest earlier. Ah, uh, I didn't bother going. There, it's here. How did I miss that? There we go. That'll come in handy. So the mission now is to get back to wherever I was meant to be going. That could have went badly, by the way. Those Jaguars are persistent little buggers. Dangerous. They can leech health off you during that uh, button mashing segment. And even if you're lightning fast with a pistol, like I got lucky there, that wasn't skill. That was pure luck. No, I'm going to mark these chests so that I don't miss them again. I have missed this one though, haven't I? No, because I go back round. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Get under, Edward. There we go. So, a couple of really nice views to the chest opened earlier. You can see the rainbow. I think I'm going to screenshot that there. So that's quite a good... That's a stunning view. There's another one just here as well. So here is, here's the sort of colonial manor, there's a harbour down there, it's also a small shanty town for the troops to live in. So that's where we're making our way to, the jungle's exit leads into that, so off we trot. Sticking to the high ground where we can and moving like more like Connor through the jungle. Getting close to that treasure chest now. Both of them will come in, but we've moved away. Got into conflict again, that's the second time I've done that.
treasure chest appears to be through here. Is there a way through there? Did I miss this earlier? Yeah, there we go. That's how I missed it. So there's eight of the chests on this island. Been dead handy coming back here and doing this. So the last two are there, and there is a way to get into there as well. So there's more troops up ahead. This was a native village. I've used my, both my pistols, here we go. So the plan here is to shoot this guy. Ideally in the head, there we go. That'll draw these guys to me. Gotta wait till the big guy walks away, kill the little guy, and then I'll kill the big guy. He has to come back through here, you see. And I'll get him here. He's, I think he's seen the body of his mate somehow through all these branches. Magic that. He's also stuck in an animation. There we go. Those guys can take a while to kill. So we've got another two here. Gonna save myself some pain. Shoot the big guy in the head. Oh, that execution is absolutely brutal. Got some bullets there, so I'm going to reload. And on we go again. Those two chests might actually be got in... Yeah, those two chests may actually be got in the next mission, so I'm I'm not gonna get them just now. I'll get them later, because I get closer to them then anyway. So stay out of combat, air assassinate the bad guy, right? There's two ways to get to him. I went the other way the last time. I'm going to go this way this time. I think it's actually a bit more stealthy. Killed him. Loot his body. He might have ammo on him. He never. But it doesn't matter. Don't know how they can't see him in amongst all this. I got bullets that time. There's a guy down there. So what I'm gonna do is shoot him in the head and then move to the move back into here. Oh, I wasn't expecting that guy to come up. Oh well. I needed a bullet there, but I don't. Reload everything. Oh, 
plein d'amène. Come on, mate, you're dead. There we go. Gonna loot him, see if he's got any ammo on him. He didn't, okay. Now it's into the water. Now I gotta be careful for the guys that are on the... on the, the sort of dock, on the pier. I can stealth swim in this game though, so that's absolutely fine. There's no problem there. See? You can just do that. Whatever you say, mate. So the trick now is getting on board, but because this side has a flag hanging from it, that obstructs the view. So up we go. Up we go. Up we go. Up we go. Yeah, he wasn't for going up there at all, was he? It wasn't that hard the last time. So, it's up here. That's my target there. That's Jean. Need to make sure it's him that's highlighted when I do this. You remember the gift you gave me? Well, it answers just fine. Fist of Putra! As bold as a musket ball, and still half as sharp. I'm sorry about this, mate. But I can't risk you telling your Templar friends about me still kicking around. I pity you, Bukenyi. After all you have seen, after all we showed you of our order, still, you embrace the life of an ignorant and aimless rogue! Ah! What's this? Is petty larceny the extent of your ambition? Have you no mind to comprehend the scope of ours? All the empires on Earth abolished, a free and open world without parasites like you! Que l'enfer que tu trouveras soit le fruit de ton insouciance. I'll remind you of these words in another episode. The cold is ours! So I didn't meet either of them this time, I'm not bothered. I can sort them in my own time. So after that ends, it takes us back to Abstergo. I don't know if it's going to do that. No, it's just taking me back to the replay part. And what time are we on? 48 minutes. So I'll tell you what, I'll stop there and I'll start mission... Th yeah, sorry, I'll start sequence four clean. We'll do sequence four... Uh, mission one so that you guys can see the bit that you've missed and then we'll push on with the main story so thank you guys i'm sorry this was a bit of jumping on main news and replaying missions but as i say i didn't get a chance to to do any of that earlier it sucked and i'm a bit gutted that i lost that footage so thanks anyway like i said at the start if you are new here or if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel. There will be a playlist and some extra content coming up on screen now. You'll see a card in the top right hand corner of your screen. That will take you to a video. You should see a playlist and another video in the centre of the screen along with a button to subscribe to my channel. So you don't even have to go to my channel to subscribe. Just click on the Blizzard Raptor icon in the middle of the screen and that will subscribe for you. Subscriptions cost nothing. You're not getting charged for anything. The subscription just helps my channel to grow. The more subscribers I have, the more my content goes out to other uh, consumers, other viewers, and hopefully they'll enjoy it as well and subscribe and pass it on. Thanks, guys. Take care of yourself. I will see you back here, literally, for the next sequence. And whatever you get up to, take care of yourselves. And bye for now.